Beth here. I am here with a wonderful friend, Oli Cantos, and we want to talk with you about positive solutions for furloughed federal employees. There are hundreds of thousands of federal employees who are sitting at home wondering when they can go back to work and we want to share with you some positive tips and very very helpful tips on what you can do to better your situation because there's a lot of uncertainty right now we do have some great answers I know that there are at last count somewhere in the neighborhood of 818 thousand federal employees who are out of work until further notice because of the shutdown of the federal government and there is a lot you can do. Oli is a federal employee and has been a federal employee for a long time. I am not a federal employee but I do have the experience of being a government employee. Oli, just talk a little bit about your experience getting to this point and what it means for you to be sitting at home. Well, I'll, I'll tell you, I, I'm really uh, just, when I think about fellow federal employees and having listened to the radio here in the Washington, D.C. area, there are a number of fellow federal employees that are just stressed, especially those who are living paycheck to paycheck and they're wondering what the heck they're going to do and with every day that passes that this partial government shutdown continues that means that that is yet another day that they have where there isn't money coming in and there's no guarantee that we will be paid retroactively in the future and especially for those who are struggling this is an intense source of stress especially because people have families to take care of there are other loved ones that depend on them they're the breadwinners for their families and it's just really really difficult politics aside with what whatever is causing all this people can point whatever left and right the the, the fact is that that there are almost a million of us um, when rounding up to the nearest million almost a million of us who are just forced to just sit at home or otherwise to not work and the, the interesting thing is under federal law uh, we can't even go in to be of service to the American people even on a voluntary basis I can't go into the building and say you know what at least I want to feel like I'm being productive just because I want to be of service because I'm a, I'm a public servant if I were to go into the building and even check my computer check my email remotely check my voicemail remotely I would be violating federal law and so it's just it's just demoralizing for a lot of folks for a lot of folks on on so many levels but the all of this is is to say that that uh, with for those of us or for people who are subjected to to circumstances beyond our control and, and in this case there are hundreds of thousands of us there have got to be other ways and there are uh, other ways uh, to to enable us to to feel cushioned and and to feel sheltered from some of the stress that otherwise could be happening in our lives. Oli, I definitely hear you. I so appreciate you sharing your personal story because what you do is important. I like the fact that you mentioned that sometimes you just want to be a service to the people in this country. You don't just look at your job as a job and neither do the hundreds of thousands of other federal employees. You look at it as service and you want to be of service to people all over and you're not able to do that. But what's great is that as you said this is not about politics. We're here to offer real positive solutions because there are people who when they go home they're not thinking about blame or politics they're just thinking about how are they going to pay their bills they're thinking about what are they going to do to keep their family routine intact and going in accordance with what they are used to and we want to provide answers and we do have some great answers I right. mentioned that I don't have the experience of being a federal employee but I do have the experience of being a government employee I have worked in local government in the past and I know that there is a tremendous level of comfort when you are a government employee because 
I had great benefits. I had benefits that it far exceeded many people who are in private sector jobs. I had far better health coverage. I had a lot more access with my health care coverage. I had a lot of benefits when it came to time off, sick days. I had a lot of benefits when it came to retirement, private retirement in the way of a 401k and a pension, right? There's a lot and it definitely gives you a tremendous level of comfort and you can be in a routine because of that comfort and you can start to build sort of a, a bottom and a rug and a safety net with that comfort. Wouldn't you agree, Oli? Absolutely, Michaeline. And the, the thing though that, that's in stark contrast to the experience of fellow federal government employees is that Believe it or not, I've actually been having the time of my life over the past two days. Uh, t today, at the time of this hangout, is day two of, of this federal government partial shutdown, and I have been having the time of my life. I mean, I, I know it sounds strange, and I don't mean to make light of this, of this situation, but the fact is that because of, of being in business on the side, in addition to my federal government job, the money that's come in from the business is is more than shielding me from from the current impact of not being able to work and not being paid for being forced to be on furlough literally yesterday I just enjoyed the whole day with my mom who's visiting here uh, in here here in the Washington DC area from California we just had the best time we went to lunch together we went out and we spent time at the Capitol we we also uh, went to a Japanese restaurant in the evening that's a, a favorite hibachi place of mine and today we just have been spending time together just talking and I mean this is all happening around us and it's directly impacting us but because of of the business that that we're in uh, it just I just feel this sense of gratitude because I don't feel like I'm in a situation where oh my gosh everything just bottoms out where I'm just stuck and I'm subjected to whatever circumstances that are happening that are absolutely beyond my control instead because of having taken control of my life earlier before any of this ever even happened and worked having worked to build a business uh, and even with the struggle with building it for a while the fact is that money is coming in now and that has, is literally offsetting all of this stuff where instead of just feeling so stressed I, I just really just felt like it's just been a blessing just to spend time with my mom and, and to just catch up with with uh, people who I haven't gotten to talk to for a while and people have actually been reaching out to me from different parts of the country just personally worried about me saying are you okay and just to have the feeling of writing back and saying yeah I'm fine and and focusing more on how they've been doing lately and so it's it's surprising to some folks who reached out to just wonder if I'm just doing okay under this, these circumstances and to just real either write back or call back and say hey I'm, I'm doing alright because of, of what this business has been able to provide which is peace of mind that has just been priceless I mean I don't know what I would do if I didn't have this secondary income I'd be just as stressed as those of us or those folks who are out there who don't have this as an option or who haven't yeah I agree only with you and I think what you're saying is so critical is the secondary income and I would say that that is a great way to sum up what is the solution for all federal employees because you have a secondary income and a lot of federal employees do not. A lot of them get very comfortable in the way that I mentioned to you as a government worker, non-federal but certainly in local government, I spent time there and I know how comfortable it can be because there is a rhythm that you get into when you're a government employee. The benefits are so many and it can seem as if that's it. You're set for life and this is an example of how that comfort can be a false sense of comfort, right? right. And I'm grateful to hear your story and I was so grateful when I texted 
you and texted you on yesterday and I said how is everything are you off are you one of the people affected and you were like I'm having the time of my life and you were in really enjoying yourself and that is because you did not just rely and have your sole sense of comfort in what you have with the federal government you have your own secondary income and that is fantastic how has that changed your perspective overall having a secondary income only well having a secondary income actually helps provide for different options um, just even with this crisis aside let's say this shutdown never happened the existence of that secondary income has given me more choices whether it's to go out to eat in at restaurants I just really love and not worry about how much it costs or being able to uh, just do whatever I want to do or go wherever I want to go without really having to worry about it much it, it, it's just a, just a phenomenal feeling to, to know that that there are options out there and what's even more just it's just exhilarating is just to know that this secondary income has provided such a peace of mind and with with the thousands that I'm, I've been bringing into this business I still have goals of building bigger but I I have the, that as a goal uh, not because of some some intense sense of greed but more just feeling like I want to have choices in life money additional money enables all of us to have more choices to do more of what we want to do to be of support to our family and other loved ones or to have the lifestyle that we want and that's what I mean nobody can deny that ultimately we want to have more choices in life and a secondary income offers that in a crisis situation a secondary income prevents the the negative effects of those crises from affecting us and if there are no crises at the moment then a secondary income enables us to pro propel our lives to a whole new level even when we do have day jobs yes I think what you're saying is amazing it's good in good times to have a secondary income and it certainly prevents the bottom from dropping out in bad times so tell me about secondary income that you've created a business that we're both doing but because of your situation I would love to hear you speak about it and speak about your personal experience with this business well with, with the business uh, I from the very beginning I, I was coachable and I knew what I don't know and because in my life I had an intense sense of why in wanting to build this business this was not just something that I just treated as some kind of hobby even though I have a full-time job and even though I have family obligations and family responsibilities I I just needed to take this business seriously from the get-go this was not just some little hobby that I did on the side this was something that I took really really seriously knowing that when I follow the business and the systems of support that have been put into place then ultimately I would end up being successful in this business and that's not to say that there are moments that that I that I just wonder gosh how do you do this specific task or how do you do that specific task or where there are days when I don't see just uh, the kind of results that I would wish but that's the the key though that there's strength in the struggle and not that we necessarily have to struggle long but when we have this entrepreneurial approach from the get-go knowing that however the way the heck we work it out we just are we make the decision that we are going to build this business whatever the heck it takes then ultimately it does work out because I remember Michaeline at the beginning I was thinking gosh you know I really see all these amazing people who, who make fabulous amounts of money in this and, and and I'm not like that yet and I want to be and and I would worked and I, I just didn't have any initial success but one day as a result of all of the efforts things started to turn and that can't happen without taking daily consistent action where instead of worrying about doing things perfectly the first time 
What I was taught from the very beginning is that we just take action. We learn from our mistakes. We take corrective action based on those mistakes. We bolster our weaknesses, and then we get better from there. And with other things that we don't know, we can then work to outsource those those skills so that way we can expedite our success. And then beyond even all of that, if we don't have the money yet to outsource, then we form partnerships with other people where we offer value for them in exchange for them giving value to us. So it's just awesome to be able to just do this. And especially in light of this current climate with these economically difficult times, I'm so grateful that I made the decision back then that, that I did. But beyond that, Michaeline, for people who are in this situation right now, who are watching this hangout, the fact is that they still have an ability right now to begin today by getting involved with us and by taking direct actions and being consistent and having the right attitude so that the success that they want will ultimately be theirs. And no longer do they need to be worried about circumstances beyond their control causing their lives to spiral out of control because of feeling like, oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm going to do if. you know. But when we have this whole secondary income and we're just building, it's just such an intense sense of peace just to just know that that's there. And what has it meant for you to be an entrepreneur and have a secondary income that you have created as an entrepreneur? It's meant everything. Uh, uh, even though I, I am a federal government employee, when I build my business, I don't have an employee mentality in the sense of feeling like uh, I, I need to somehow answer to somebody else. As an entrepreneur, I am the president and CEO of my own life. And therefore, uh, as president and CEO of my own life, I direct my own talents and abilities, whatever those may be, to building this and to working hard to, to being successful. And the awesome thing about what, what this business involves is that we actually get to be successful by helping other people to get whatever they want out of life. I mean, how cool is that? I mean, this the beyond the money, this isn't just about the money. It's just the intense satisfaction of actually getting to touch people's lives by providing them with a vehicle for them to get what they want out of life that they otherwise would not have had if they didn't come into contact with us in the first place. Tell me what you do in this business. Tell us some details about it and what a person who doesn't know anything about it should understand about this business. Well, up to now, for, for anybody who, who may be watching this, they're like, okay, gosh, got it, got it. It's important to have a good secondary income. It's, in, it's good to have a business of your own. We're part of a business where you don't have to approach family and friends. You don't have to talk to to people who have no interest in building a business, any of that kind of old uh, style stuff. What we get to do every day is we get to spread our influence by sharing our thoughts and opinions about things and, and sharing it with people who know us and who want to know what we think about just life, whatever we, we might happen to be, our perspective on different things or maybe some some expertise that we might happen to have. So our business through our marketing efforts, we end up literally being able to make money by showing people how they can leverage their own influence to expand their impact on the world through blogging and through sharing information and resources that will actually benefit people's lives and not just throwing a bunch of hype out there, but actually just benefiting people's lives in a direct way and in the process making money as we do that ourselves and we show other people how to have influence and to expand their own impact and ability to make a difference in the world. It's just awesome. I love this thing. That's great. And tell me specifically about the company, the system, and how simple it is to get started. If you are a federal employee, you're not a federal employee, but you get it, what it means, and you can look at the situation of furloughed federal employees and think, wow, you know, this is a wake-up call for myself. Anyone watching this who wants to get started, please only tell them what to do. What they need to do, anybody who's watching this, they need to click on the link below. There's a link right below this video 
and depending on how you came to this video, the link might either be directly to uh, the sign up page where you'll be able to just put up $25. That's nothing to get started in a business of your own, especially when looking at franchises that literally cost several hundred thousand dollars to start. That's nothing just to get started. You can click on the link below and either get involved with us directly right away or Beyond that, you can click on the link below if it's uh, depending on how you came to this page and get further information by providing your best email address. And I really mean your direct best email address and clicking on the submit button. That's literally all it takes to get started. But the other thing too is for any anybody who's watching this, they just can't leave this page without taking action. They've just got to because just everybody among us, all of us who are in situations where we're, we're fellow federal government employees who are deemed and considered not to be quote essential or not accepted, uh, E-X-C-E-P-T-E-D, we're not accepted and therefore we're not part of the core functions of, of the government, all of us are, are just subject to the decisions of the higher ups who make the these decisions as to what happens to us and that affects our daily lives. Now by taking control, by clicking on the link below, you'll be able either to get involved directly right away or you'll be able to get further information. Uh, and and in my particular case, I'm involved with, with a, a group called the Prosperity Team and we have a whole system of of support where where we show you step by step by step how to get it done we have uh, things that are in place where you can actually put most of your business on autopilot and on top of that that's that's the case with with other folks like you Michaeline who who are involved where where if they were to be involved with you it's the, it, you are able to provide the kind of support that you're able to because you're tapped into a support system as well so either for either of us the great thing is that any of you who are watching this just can just get involved right now just by taking the next step just take action yeah and it's what is great about this is that all of this exists on the internet right that's another plus about what we do it's something you do all the time which is have transactions on the internet you are more than likely a consumer of goods on the internet whether you're buying from Amazon or eBay but you don't have the experience of being on the other side of that transaction if you're the uh, the average person most people I talk to say they spend money online but they don't know what it's like to receive income from the internet it is an amazing amazing experience and Absolutely. I definitely would love for you to have that there's no shipping there's no inventory it's all digital products that exist on the internet and it's something that you can get involved with and the training is world-class and you'll learn it as you go absolutely it's a matter of getting started you don't have to be a genius to just click below invest twenty five dollars in yourself and in your family and get started exactly and, and real quick I wanted to add something to Michaeline for those federal employees who are out there who might already be a part of a business because let's say when when they may have looked at this they might have said oh yeah well I have a side business the great thing about the business that that we are involved with is that we can actually just being involved with our business can actually help you boost your income for your other business or businesses that you may already be involved with talk about awesome leveraging here it's just amazing because when you get to learn how to how to market the way that you're taught through us, then you can apply that to any business that you're going to be involved with. And you're going to be finding out there, there might be some people who say, oh gosh, you know, don't get involved with them, etc., that sort of thing. But you know, the thing that I'd like to just put out there is to ask, what is the motivation for people thinking that way? If people are to be negative and to say, well, you know what, this thing doesn't work. My question to anybody who thinks negatively is, what vested interest do they have in believing something negatively compared uh, then the answer to that is nothing compared to what is the vested interest that people would have in believing positively in their ability to be successful and the answer to that is everything so it's just important for people to understand that regardless of whatever experience they have have or haven't had in being successful in building an online business 
you found it or they found it right here by being involved with us and and this the fact that they have found this page is not by accident and the fact that they have found this and the chances are high that none of the folks who are most of the folks who who are seeing this don't even know either of us Michaeline you or me that shows that our marketing system works imagine for anybody listening to this imagine out there that the very same thing can happen to you the very same methods and techniques that have proven to work where we can really build a strong marketing system that's on autopilot you can have the same thing literally when you're watching this hangout with the two of us here with Michaeline and I we could literally be off doing something else while you're watching this right but yet your business can still continue to grow as you commit yourselves to adding content and adding value to people's lives starting by just taking action right here excellent Oli. Oli and I are extremely hopeful about the situation the federal shutdown because we know that with secondary income you can absolutely change your life secure your family and not be in a situation where you're in a panic mode we know that this is possible this is happening for people on a daily basis in our business and you can do it too it takes no level of skill to get started other than to click a button and to invest in yourself and we believe in you we believe highly in you we have a positive outlook on this I mean Oli was out celebrating on his first day of furlough now that is a 100 percent <laughs> contrast from what you are seeing on the mainstream media because they should probably get in touch with Oli and find out why is he so happy and the reason is because we have daily reasons to celebrate in this business because it is changing our lives and making it so that we have control we have control of the situation for ourselves and for our families and you can do the same thing by getting started with us immediately so click the link below this video also to check out our average earnings which are reported daily in the other link below this video you'll find a link to average earnings so you can find out what is typical and what is possible for you inside of this business absolutely and you, oh, you want to have the last word well uh, the, the last thing I'd like to say is that ultimately if you were to ask either of us well will I be successful our answer to you would be that depends on you and and that's an empowering thing to just know that you are the one in ultimate control of your own success with the kind of support and backing that we've got we cannot answer the question of whether or to what extent you personally will be successful but what we can tell you is that when you tap into an amazing group of people who will love you and will who will believe in you more than you can ever even imagine you're going to tap into such an awesome community of people who will care about you you're just going to be able to realize that your ability to succeed not just in business but in your personal life and spiritual life etc that is all possible and doable for you to take your lives to the next level by associating with us so just thank you so much for even taking the time to watch all of this and congratulations for staying sticking with us this long <laughs> because that just really already says a lot about your stick to itness and I, I'm just really excited for, for us to get to work with you we are we're excited for you we're excited for your family about changing your future we look forward to working with you and see you on the other side of this video as you change your life we are eager to help you we're ready to help you and we'll be there to meet you once you join us by going to that link and investing in yourself right away do it right now <laughs>